Hey guys, so our next YouTube tutorial is going to be on how to draw a room in one point perspective. Some of you, if you've taken my class, have already learned a little bit about perspective, um, but I'm just going to break this down for you so it's a little easier to understand. Um, basically, one point perspective just means that you are putting things um, into perspective, so it's going back into space. Um, so I want you guys to try and set it up the way I do, and then it should be easy enough to add in the different elements of your room. You can pick like your actual room, you could pick a room in your house, you could pick a room that means something to you, you could do a dream room, it doesn't have to be a room that you know. Um, you could just kind of like follow my tutorial and just kind of add things and you know see what happens. So I just want you to kind of learn the basics of the perspective to start with and then you can kind of add your own elements to it. So what you want to do is you want to grab a ruler or something that's straight. You could get like another piece of paper, a pencil with an eraser on or an eraser separately. And then the first step you're going to do is you are going to line your ruler up. Mine's a little short, but you're going to line it up so that the top left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner um, have a line between them. So just a diagonal line across your paper. Try and draw it lightly so that you can erase it um, later on. If you draw it too dark, it might be kind of difficult to erase. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other corners. So line them up with your ruler. If your ruler is too short, just try and guess um, so that it'll reach the other end. You kind of shift your ruler along. So yeah, that wasn't perfect up there, but good enough. All right, so this dot in the middle right here is going to be your vanishing point. So that's where all of your lines are gonna be pointing towards if you have lines coming in from the side. So like, this is gonna be my um, wall of the right side of my room. This is gonna be the wall on the left side of my room. Um, this is gonna be the top of the wall, like where it meets the ceiling. Top of the wall over here, and then this is where the wall uh, meets the floor. So right here we have to put the back wall. So I'm just going to kind of do that to start with. Um, I'm going to kind of figure out where the base of the wall is first. So I'm thinking mine is about here. When you draw that line across between these two lines, make sure that your ruler is in line with the edge of the paper and just draw it between those two lines. So that is like where the um, floor meets the back wall. And then you're going to draw a line straight up. Make sure it's, you know, parallel to the side of the paper from this point up. So we're just drawing a square or a rectangle at the back, making sure that our lines are parallel with the side of the paper. All right. And then I don't really need these lines anymore because that's my back wall. So I'm going to erase these lines. If you want the back wall to be a little bit bigger, then you would make your rectangle bigger. All right. So we have the ceiling, the floor, the side walls. Keep it simple. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw the main thing in my room. So if the main thing in your room is like your bed, which it probably is, um, go ahead and draw that first. Or if it's maybe like a door coming in, draw that first. I'm gonna show you guys how to draw the bed. Um, if it's in the middle of the room, you probably just follow along how I'm doing. If it's in the side, you might do it a little bit differently. Um, but hopefully once I start to kind of show you guys, you should get the hang of it. So um, I'm going to start by drawing like the headboard because that is going flat up against the back wall. So all I really need to do is just draw a straight line across my back wall to get my headboard in there. It kind of comes up a little bit less than halfway. So I'm going to draw my headboard so it's parallel with the bottom of the wall. Kind of is like right in the middle of my wall. And then I'm going to draw it just going straight down because I'm just looking directly at it when I look at my room, so I'm not going to see any perspective on that because it's literally just up against the wall. So you don't see any lines going back into space with my headboard. Alrighty. 
and then I kind of stopped it right here because I see like where my mattress meets the headboard right here so I'm gonna draw that next the mattress kind of meets the headboard like around about here so my headboard is just kind of like a floating rectangle right now and then my bed itself comes out like this so I'm gonna line the sides of my bed up with the vanishing point because those lines do come back into space. So I'm gonna draw a line all the way down because I can't really see the front of my bed when I look directly at my room. And then I'm gonna draw a line all the way down on this one. And everything in here now, since that's my bed, I'm gonna erase. All right, so that's my bed. Um, I'm going to add details to my bed in a little bit, but I'm just going to leave that there for now so you guys can kind of like make sense of it. The next thing I'm going to draw is the second thing that I can see when I'm looking directly at my wall, and that is my um, bedside cabinet. So it starts maybe a little bit in from the side of the wall, so make sure that your ruler is in line with this line and then shift it over because you're looking directly at it. And then and I think it comes a little bit lower down than my headboard, so I'm going to just draw it down to about here. It does have legs, so I'm going to draw a little bit longer on the side. And then it comes in and almost hits my bed. So this line up at the top needs to be parallel with the top of my headboard or the line right here. So this doesn't have any perspective either. So I'm just going to kind of draw it. Um, I might see like a little bit of the edge of it right here. So that's my bedside cabinet. Um, I do kind of see the top of the headboard. So what I'm gonna do, I mean, the top of the bedside cabinet. So this little part right here, like the top of it, I am gonna draw a line on the corner. So this is pointing back to the vanishing point. So it kind of comes back like this. I only see a little bit of the top of it. And then the top of it is straight across. So it kind of goes like that. I don't see the top of my headboard really, but I do see the side of the, or the top side of the um, bedside cabinet. And then I might have a little side right there. So that is bedside cabinet and then the top of it. And then the bottom of the bedside cabinet is just kind of like a straight line. So again, make sure that your lines going horizontal are in line with the bottom of the paper. And then I don't see that back wall going through it anymore. It does have a little foot, so I am going to put that little foot in there. And then I'm going to add the details to that later, but that is my bedside cabinet. Next thing I'm going to do is my windows. So with windows, mine are on the side of my um, room over here. So the top of the window, figure out where it is in relation to the top of the ceiling. Um, that does point towards the vanishing point because it's going across. So the top of my window is maybe about right here. I'm not gonna draw a line all the way down. I'm just gonna draw it where I need it. And then the bottom of my window goes pretty far down on the wall. So it's about here, I would say. So that's the bottom of my window and the top of my window. The side of my window, I need to keep it in line with the side of the paper and the side of the back wall. So that is just gonna be a straight line up. So anything on the sides, the top and the bottom, always point towards the vanishing point in the middle right here. And then the sides of it go vertical in line with the side of the paper. You don't wanna like have like a diagonal line here because it wouldn't make sense. And then my window does have um, kind of like a border around it. So that border I'm gonna kind of draw pointing to the vanishing point, the bottom of it, I'm gonna draw that towards the vanishing point, the side, I'm gonna keep it in line with the side I already have. Keep in mind that since we're going back into space, this is narrower than this and this because it gets smaller as you go back. So that's why this part of my window is narrower. And then there's a middle of my window. So the middle of it is gonna to point towards the vanishing point I'm going to draw a double line right here, and then another one up here, because that's like the middle of my window. I might erase that line because I think they are all connected, like that. 
Um, what's next? I don't have too much going on in my room. It's kind of small, so um, there's not too many details. I do have a closet over here, so I'll draw that next. The closet kind of comes off of the page because um, the door's like right here. So I'm gonna just draw the closet coming off kind of like I did with the window. So I'm gonna draw the top of my closet pointing towards the vanishing point. The bottom of the closet is the bottom of the wall. And then the side of the closet is in line with the back, in line with the paper, just going vertically down. There's a line in the middle of the closet. Again, this door on this side, since there's two doors, is gonna be a little narrower. So this side of my closet is gonna be a little bit bigger because it's going back into space. So this one's smaller, this one's a little bit bigger. And then in the middle, I have two little handles on the closet. So with circles, with anything kind of like, you know, not a straight line, you can kind of just draw it in there. This handle I'm gonna draw a little bit bigger because it is closer to us. This one's a little bit smaller. Um, and that's that. I think I have a poster on one of these. So I'm gonna draw a poster. And again, the top of the poster is pointing towards the vanishing point. The bottom of the poster pointing towards the vanishing point. The sides of the poster in line with the side of the closet. All right, and then any detail you have on the poster, I think it's mountains in mine, you can just draw that kind of regularly. Because that is kind of difficult to do in perspective. So you just draw that regularly. Um, what's next? Okay, so I have curtains on my window. I'm gonna draw that next. So I'm just gonna kind of start adding the details now because I have my main um, details in there. So the um, the rod for the curtains points towards the vanishing point. I'm gonna draw a line up here for that. It kind of goes into like a circle. So I'm gonna draw like a little curved line because the rod goes into a circle in the end. And I'm gonna draw the circle behind it. So that's an easy way to draw like a curtain rod. The curtains themselves kind of come over top of the top of the curtain rod and then they come kind of down over top of the window. They're sheer, so I'm not gonna draw, I'm not gonna erase this because my curtain's kind of a see-through. So the bottom of it, I'm gonna kind of draw like somewhat parallel to the bottom of this line. Then I'm just gonna kind of wing it with that one and then I might see a little bit of the curtain on this side, but maybe not the whole thing. And then I'll show you how to um, paint them in a second. All right. Um, I have a tapestry on the back wall. I'm gonna do that last because I don't wanna get rid of my vanishing point just yet. Um, I have a plant in the corner. So any objects, again, that are like kinda objects that you can just draw on there that don't have lines, you can just draw them. So my plant, I'm gonna draw the pot first. So when you're drawing cups or pots or anything 3D like this, you wanna draw the oval first then kind of mirror the curve underneath. And it's kind of in the corner of my room, so it's going over top of like that corner that we drew already. And then everything in here I'm gonna erase because it's going through it. And then the plant itself is kind of like a, you guys have been in my classroom, it's the one I had in there, the one that had like all the leaves on it. So it's like got like a big stem and then it's got like these leaves coming out like this kind of comes all the way up I'm not really sure what kind of a plant it is but it's fun all right and then I think over here I have another plant so that one is like a, it's on a stand so I'm gonna draw like the top of the stand first with my oval when you're drawing ovals like keep your hand moving and moving and moving until you get it right then it has like a little ledge, so that's the same curve as this up here. Straight lines on the side, it's like a little tray on the top. And then the legs of it kind of just come straight down because they're vertical lines. Make sure if you are drawing something on the side there, make sure it does come into the floor because you don't want it floating on the wall if it's attached to the floor.
And then I think there's another like little circle thing down here, which I'm going to draw in there. And there's a back to it. And then the plant itself, I'm going to erase this because it's going through it. The plant sits kind of on top of it like that. And then it's like one of these like kind of heart shaped plants. So I'm just going to kind of quickly draw it so I'm not wasting too much time here. If you are unsure of how to draw anything, um, email me or there's so many different like tutorials on YouTube that you can kind of look up like to help you. So don't give up if you're not sure how to draw something. Just use the resources that you have. Okay, so that's my plant on that side. Um, then I'm going to just add my details, so like my um, bed obviously has pillows, so I'm going to draw my pillow kind of just upright. These ones you can draw freehand, you don't have to use, you know, a ruler because they're not completely straight. So I have two pillows at the front, I have like one at the back. They're going through that line, so now I'm going to erase that line from my headboard because my pillows are overlapping it. Maybe they have like these little kind of like things going on inside of them. Um, and then I have a comforter, so that's just going to kind of go across. I might kind of like make the edge of my bed a little bit more wiggly so it doesn't look so perfect. Um, and then I'm going to draw the drawers in my desk or in the side table. <laughs> so once you kind of have your um, things in there, you can kind of start to add stuff. I might have like some details on my pots. Maybe there's something outside in the window. Um, on the corners of the window, you can draw like those, you know, lines like that. And then I have a tapestry um, on my back um, wall. So, kind of hangs comes in it's not perfect it's kind of like a piece of cloth so that's the last thing I'm going to draw because then I'm going to get rid of this vanishing point so my tapestry is like a big plant Are you guys sensing a theme I like plants they're my favorite just like one of those big palm leaves There's lots of little details on. So I'm doing this kind of quick for you guys because I've made another one that I'm going to show you how to color in a second. Um, but once you have all of like, your bed and anything else on there or your sofa, um, then you want to kind of add the details. So start with like the big things that you're going to actually be using the perspective point for and then you can kind of start to add your details on. Alrighty. So the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to color. It's going to be a time lapse, so I'm not going to be talking during it, but you can just kind of watch how I paint it, um, just if you want to get some ideas. Once you've finished with your room, you can color it with colored pencils. You can leave it. You could outline it in Sharpie. You could color it with just a pencil and try and shade it. Um, if there's, you know, a window, the light would be coming in from here, so like you would see a shadow on the left side of things. Um, you could color it with markers, you could make it look crazy and add cool patterns to it. So I want you guys to really take this and then add to it. Um, but again, on my next video, I'm going to show you how to paint. Um, so if you want to watch that, go ahead. If you want to kind of do your own thing, um, color it your own way, go ahead as well. All right, guys, I hope you learned something. Um, I'll post a couple websites underneath in the comments with different websites showing you how to do one point perspective just if you do get a little bit confused. But the basic um, idea is just that your lines on the side are pointing towards the vanishing point. Your lines going vertical, go straight up. And then your lines going horizontal on the back, go horizontal. All right, good luck. I'm looking forward to see what you guys create and I will see you next time. Bye.